Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Prison Architect Alpha 20. <clears throat> we are back. We are still working on the kitchen slash canteen here. And we, in case you missed the last episode, moved everything from this one to the bigger one that we just set up. Uh, we went and set up a second power station and diverted some electricity to make sure that we could power everything. And uh, we're just waiting for everything to get set up. So, it is taking its sweet time to do so. Yeah, there's a much... There's a pretty considerable uh, droppage in, in, in power draw. that you see on the other one. The other power stations. Okay. Oh, this is we can't do anything but wait there. Let's go and set up some foundation. And we won't actually give those foundations entrances. Until, um, we know that all this stuff is done, so. At least we have the expenditure out of the way, and we know that we don't have to budget for that anymore. Because that's, that's a pretty sizable chunk of... of the cost of making the buildings is getting the um, foundation poured, so. We go. They don't have actually that much uh, in terms of electrical cable to, to connect. It's really just this little stretch that you see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. Then everything will be connected. We got, we got people starting to install appliances. Good. Because soon they will be able to run. Oh, come on, you just need one more electrical cable. Driving me crazy here. I just can't see. So excited! I'm into deep. Drive me crazy. Feels all right. Maybe thinking of you keeps me up. That's right. I just sung Britney Spears at you. What do you think about that? Feel free to leave it in the comments, I guess. Um. Yeah. One of you, just pick up the electrical cable! For the love of God! I wish I could give individual workmen raises, because the first one who picks up something from this stack of electrical cable and installs it right here would get a raise. Why, why would you put ingredients into here when there's... There's no power going in there. Those eggs would go bad. I 
more tables built? Yeah. Kind of, sir. I really wish you could prioritize. <gasps> Yay! Alright, <clears throat> so all my power is hooked up. Finally. And this super mega kitchen should be enough to, I would think, feed a pretty sizable, pretty sizable uh, population of, of inmates. Yeah. Ooh! We've released enough prisoners now. We can look into our prison grading. Okay, we have zero prisoners escape, zero deaths in custody. Yeah. Health is plus two, security is plus three, reform is two, punishment is nine. I don't know what that means, but reoffending rate is 18%. That's a, that's actually pretty good, I would say. Because the recidivism rate in, uh, in the U.S. is, I think, a lot higher. I think the recidivism rate in Canada is a lot higher, too, but... Let's face it, there just aren't as many people that are being locked up in Canada. It's not that... well... It's not that there's no crime going on in Canada, it's just that we don't... tend not to lock people up for as many silly things. Although we do lock people up for silly things. There we go. And we just need one last cooker in there and then we'll be good. There we go! Fully functional kitchen. Um... Actually, you know what we should do? Is we should set the deployment now because the deployment has changed for the jobs. So one, two, three. Seven, eight. We have got here five, six. There we go. That's what we can do. So to this for when it. There we go. The meals are outstripping the amount of hungry prisoners anyway, I think. Um, and then I will take serving tables. Maybe put them along the wall here. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. I know that I'm planning on creating another exit there, like a big exit, but mind you, this is a pretty straight shot all the way. You gotta go to the deliveries and stuff like that, because you have to go all the way over there and, well, not necessarily. Maybe like a new deliveries area over here. I don't know if it would make a difference, but we'll see. Alright, so let's see how this whole thing plays out. In terms of everybody getting fed. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. Maybe tomorrow morning we'll have more people. Ahead. All right, and then when this is set up, we will um, get the other benches and things finalized. There are some more bins in and around here. Because we have extra bins. to think that perhaps it might not be the worst idea to have some more um, sinks over here. Let's do that. Take some small pipe and put it through like that. Wouldn't be too big a deal. It's been dismantled. These bins could actually probably stay here. Move this bin, say, over here. Long, throw some small pipes in there. that it's fun going at this clip it'll be done like now okay there we go I'm happy about that I'm happy so happy that's facing the wrong way you can only make them face one way like how does that work Maybe we'll put them in that. I hope they still run. It's kind of dumb, but. They're practically all in. This old building. Hum. No, oh, they're taking the food trays. That's good. Um. do we have? Make this a big common room? Like the last common room we'll ever need? And then if we do that, what do we do with this room? Hmm. Well, I guess that is... 
a block of thoughts for the next episode. Um, I'm going to leave it here for this one. Uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to go ahead and... Or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you want to do, that button's down there too. If you want to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below. I'll bring you right to where you need to go. Um, but yeah, I've been Mike, and you have been you. And this has been Prison Architect Alpha 20. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.